What's up, everybody? As you can see, we're at the 2024 Fishtail Super Show Magazine Show. Yes, sir. It's going down, guys. It's packed out. We got so much love getting shown to us. Everybody's talking about the booth. We worked hard last night. Got this bike right here, man. You guys stay tuned. My name is Mikey Loco. I take pictures for a living and build bikes. Yeah, yeah thanks. Hey, yeah, bud, sure. Yeah, sure. Hey, what's up? What? What's that? You like that? Oh, yeah, I like that. All right, you guys, we're here. 2024 Fishtails Magazine Super Show, and look what we found. Big Bob. Oh, oh hi. What's going on, you guys? We're here at Fishtails, Ontario, California, 2024. And let me tell you, if you come out, you definitely missed out. This place is packed. The pop and it was going off, man. Good times, good vibes, good people. And the beer was cold. All right, so favorite bike? <laughs> Why do we always do this? <laughs> It was probably by dirt bags. There's like a hundred bikes in here, or over a hundred. No, you know what? There were so many beautiful bikes, motorcycles. It's insane. Whoever had a judge, honestly, I give you props because it was ridiculous. And I don't have a good eye for this stuff, but I know everything I saw was amazing. I agree. I definitely agree. Uh, thanks everybody for coming out, and supporting the community, everybody's brands, and, every and all this beautiful love that we have here in 2024. You guys can find me. I'm just kidding. <laughs> stay, stay blessed, King Life. All right, everybody, we are here at the Fishtails Magazine Super Show 2024, and we are here with Ryan from Bamco Motorsports. We do full 12 point ARP bolt kits for anything and everything Harley. What did you think about the show? The show is pretty cool. I've never, it's my first time here. These bikes are crazy. The amount of detail they put into them is insane. The dirt bags, single-sided swing arm bike was insane too as well. It was crazy. Yeah. What's your favorite bike though? It has to be that bike. All right, cool. Yeah, it has to be that bike. That bike is insane. Nothing like it. Nice. Anything uh, planned for this year coming up? We got going to all the big shows, so Sturges. We have Born Free coming up. You know, little small stuff just to get out there, say what's up to the people. Nice. All right, you guys stay tuned. Bamco is coming in hot. Bulletproof welder, um, you're not here right now, but we see your bike and we know there's a lot of money into it and we want to know how much money. So we're going to find you and we're going to ask you that question, how much money is in your bike? All right, everybody, 2024 Fishtails Magazine Super Show. We ran into Dread Cycles. Tell them what's up. So we have all our parts machined here in Long Beach, California out of 6061 billet aluminum. We offer raw powder coat and chrome finishes. We have bundles. We can mix and match. Come check out Dread Cycles, floorboards, passenger pegs, shifter pegs. Get your bike set up if you want to ride right. Best meal. Taking this W's over here. <laughs> conquered fish tails 2024 in the books taking home the w like we knew we was going to yes we put in the hard work man we appreciate everyone that just dedicated their time to put into this bike to make it happen a few shout outs reliable powder coating uh premium sand blasting cerakote primos wheels vertical cycles and then obviously the team guys they we all came together we killed it we worked non-stop till we put out that heat man work speaks for itself every single time Sir, mm -hmm. look online, keep your new drip, come get it. Oh yeah, that's a new one right there, look at that. That is, Banger. we sold out of them too. One guy bought the last three or four of them all at once. 
gone. Yeah. It's like, poof, like that. We can't even, we didn't even get the poster yet. Ready, bro? I know, shit. We didn't get the poster yet. Loading everything back up. <laughs> All right guys, as promised, all you had to do was comment April 1st or something to do with the raffle and you're gonna automatically enter the giveaway. All right, so I see there's 160 comments and I see a lot of people viewing this. So all these thousands of people just don't feel like typing. Come on, show some love. We're over here consistent, constantly doing it. We ask you guys just to participate in a giveaway. Come on, put in some work guys. I wanna see some participation, all right? Asking from your boy. All right, so right here, Michael Johnson 2265, you are the winner, bud. So I'm gonna like that. You won. All you gotta do is email, get in contact with us. This week, all you guys gotta do, you can check it out. I have a set of extended bags like right here. Check these out. These are touring mom bags. Let's give these away. But look at if you're out of the country and you win, you have to pay shipping. Okay. To be fair, if you guys win, you guys gotta pay shipping. All right. It's gonna be probably like a hundred bucks to ship it somewhere far. But I'm down to give these away. So some extended bags. You guys toss those on your bike. We're giving those away this week. All you guys to do is comment, easy peasy, lemon squeezy, and Michael Johnson, you won this week. All right, what's going on everyone? What we got going on here is we gotta prep this fender. It's gonna go black. So usually when it's bare metal, you want to go ahead and degrease it, clean off all the oil and wax, because that will really give you soft and pop. Once you do it, we're going to go ahead and DA it with 80 grit, and then we're going to throw some black sealer on it, scuff it up, and then we're going to go ahead and put black. So it should be a two-day job. You know, these parts are really supposed to be in and out. You really don't like taking time with them. If you lag on your paint jobs, what's wrong with you, bro? Just knock it out. Just don't, don't do that. <laughs> don't do that. But yeah, let's get started. Mike likes to work under deadlines for no reason, for no reason. Like, I'm gonna mount everything I have for this one and then break it back down so I can send everything to powder coat now so that when we decide to have a deadline for some show or some event or some birthday or somebody wants their bike, I'll have everything ready and we won't have to be like machining stuff and powder coating stuff like the night before calling in favors to everybody. So this way we just like, like oh look, it's just like regular time building, I don't need to stress. No need to work 80 hour weeks, okay? No need to not sleep, you know? We just build bikes in a regular manner, so. What would you like? Because he gets idea. we put the bike together and he goes like, wouldn't it be cool if we did this? I'm like, you just wanna sh but yeah, it's great, great idea. And so we'll pull it back apart the week before. And I've been doing the tea tree oil up here. Maybe, you know, maybe I'll show you guys tomorrow. I need to put a little bit more, but it's been coming in, man. It's been coming in pretty thick, pretty thick, right let me now? tell you. I'll show you in a little bit, you know what I'm saying? Let me just warm up, you know what I'm saying? I just got here, let me just. Okay, let me add another, you know, another round of the ointment and then show you, you know, you know, what this the real review, the hair growth serum, okay? Air deflectors, a new dash, a amplifier, new speakers. I think we have some axle caps here, don't we? Uh, we found a new intake system, the headlight, extended. We just go upstairs and look for stuff that we need because we have so many parts here. We'll probably have enough parts here to build like three motorcycles. Unfortunately, when people call and ask for parts, I don't help. Uh, but if you come here and you need a part, I'll help you out. And if you want to buy majority of stuff, like from the takeoff parts and you go sell it and make money, I'm down to help as well. I'll give you a great deal. Uh, we just have piles of stuff here. I just don't like going and swap me and bargaining with people. So I don't do that. This bike's coming together. This is my street glide that we're building and I'm taking it to Vegas this weekend. So if anyone's in Vegas and wants to have a drink, I'll be out there partying it up with my buddies. We're getting this bike ready just for the trip. I couldn't go like stock. I don't like driving like that. So CBO wheels on this one. It already has an Olin's front end, D&D exhaust cam. We got a new intake system, a couple of little rear end stretched out, a couple of other little things that we're going to be doing. And then after I get back, I'll sell it. If anyone's interested in a street glide for a really, really good price, this one's going to be done by Thursday. And then I'll test drive it up there 
and then I'll sell it when I get back. It's cool enough for me to drive to Vegas. It's cool enough for you guys to buy it if someone wants a good deal. I need money for the CVO, and we're putting a butt ton of money inside of that thing. I'm excited. Are you guys excited? The process to get that bike to where it's at right now, it was extreme. We're not 100% done yet. We have to fine tune it. There's some rear rotor issues that we ran into, so we have to modify it. But to even get to that stage, definitely challenging. I want to do some special shout outs. Reliable powder coating, premium sandblasting and Cerakote. Primo's wheels came through, did some one-off hubs for me. They're like, those are my BFFs, man. Vertical cycles came through. The guys, obviously, you know, they're coming through. Without that handful of people, man, we couldn't have got to where we, we couldn't have made it to the show, definitely, so. I gotta show them some love. I gotta send them some care packages, something. I know we got some new hats in, we got some new apparel. Reliable powder coat, I think I wanna send their whole crew some food. They won't accept any gifts from me, though. That's like, I could take them shirts, they'll take it, but I wanna like bless the whole crew. Probably just gonna send them pizza. So the rose gold king tail has been posted for 48 hours, almost 12,000 likes, almost 300 comments. People are going crazy over it. Everyone's posting it, breaking the internet. Like I said, told you once it hits, it's gonna kill. And that's a still shot. Imagine I'm rolling down the street, smash it on the freeway. That big ass 21 just spinning, breaking the internet. First post broke the internet. We're gonna keep coming. We're gonna keep killing it, like we do best. Left turn in the house. I heard you guys been hitting the gym, so uh, I made sure I I brought something for you guys. Yeah. Come, Come on, man. man. Sabotage. I was trying to watch my figure. There you go. See, now he's going to hit the gym two times harder, bro. Is this the one that's going to be in the next raffle? I'll make sure it's, I'll buy a few tickets, man. Yeah, very creative, man. He always hits home runs, bro, every time he builds something, man. So make sure if you guys are looking for that custom work, make sure you guys stop at Dirt Banks. What up, everyone? Check it out. We have a 2014 breakout going under some construction. All right, so what we're going to do right now is we're going to pull that front end off, ditch those trees, and then we're going to rake it out for a 23. A 23 can fit on there right now, but if you want to do it once, you want to do it right, we want to put trees pulled out slightly more. While we're in there, we're going to have the fork upper tubes get covered and then the lower put some sliders on there so we can black it completely out. Uh, once we're in there, we're going to paint the front, we're going to do a new front fender, paint the front fender, pull these wheels off right here, drop some new wheels on it, and then do the matching back wheel rotors, and we're going to lower it a little bit as well. It's going to give it a night and day difference. This is gonna be stage one of this motorcycle. We're gonna keep building on it. Keith's been more than patient. We had to get this bike done for him ASAP. He's going on a ride within like a couple weeks. He wants to test ride it before he actually gets out and about. So we gotta knock out this bike this week. On the road again, guys, we're in the short bus. We had that chopper we built. It's been a nightmare. I typically don't work on those old bikes and then on top of it, I don't work like on old choppers. I try to do a favor and help out and it's been a nightmare. It is what it is. We gotta stand by it till we fix it. So we're on our way to go get it. It has a leak. It's like the third time it leaked right now, man. I don't even lost for words. I gotta go get it right now, go see what's going on and just stand by our work, you know, till it's done. We're 100% losing at this point, but I gotta keep the customer happy. I gotta get him happy. I gotta make sure he came. Nobody would have been able to knock this bike out. We teamed up with everybody to get this bike done. Everything was discontinued. Baker doesn't even make these parts at all anymore. Harley will refuse to work on it. It's a Harley bike that they built, like, I don't know, like 500 of them or something like that. I don't know exactly, you don't quote me on it, but it's definitely been a pain in my ass. So I came all the way to Redondo Beach to pick up this bike, and my buddy has a barbershop out here. A really good friend of mine, and since we're here, we might as well stop by and say what's up, and just pull up on him. He should be happy. And then we'll check out his shop too, so it's right. Oh, look at his bike. Damn, he has his bike sitting right on this busy ass street. Look at that. He has a, a road glide. Nice. Yeah, he has no idea we're coming either. What's up? 
What's up, brother? What up, what up, what up? Shirts too. It's on the fucking paperwork, bro. What are you talking about? You're you're you're, you're trying to act like you don't read the fucking paperwork. It's a 23 inch fender. Read the, look at the fucking box. It's 23 inch fender. We're raking out the bike for a 23 inch fender. Wait, this morning when you told me you saw that fender, I wouldn't have taken that fender off and given it to them to paint. That makes no sense. What was that about? He, not even that. Did you guys see Jesse and uh, this guy? Uh, this guy's handshake. Their new handshake. They have this like little back thing and. Oh no, that was uh, me and Jesse's thing first. It's yeah, it's you pass by, pass by, and did. then you get it under. Like, they, they go like that, and then you grab the like, cheek. Yeah. We had, a great idea. Oh, yeah. we had a great idea about Ben's uh, battery box, and what then like they did it, and I was like, how do you guys gonna have your own handshake? And like I just feel like left out. Yeah. yeah I was like. I was almost there with them when they did the back thing. I was like, well, what? You scoop them? I was like, secretly, oh, you gotta... I was like secretly doing it with them without even It's Tuesday, you guys. Fishtails Magazine show is over. I had so many people come up to me asking me about these center stands. And I feel like, you know what? I had to put the pressure on our guy. So we finally got our parts. These little parts that I have here, redesigns that I wanted to dial in and get done so that way we could move forward and just get them back into production. So I felt like this was a good time to explain it to everybody because I know there was people asking at the show, stay tuned, maybe in about, I'm shooting for about three weeks. If our laser guy is still up and running and his machine doesn't go down, we're still shooting for about three weeks. So I know the deadline was supposed to be like, what the, this week, was it this week? Yeah, it's not gonna happen guys. We're delayed again, once again for these parts and I just gotta make sure that they work 100% correctly or else, you know, I'm not doing my due, due diligence and I don't wanna be like that and I don't wanna uh, put that type of product out. So just bear with me for a little bit and then you'll see the new and improved version two of the uh, center stands, the soft tail uh, touring models as well. So, and I have the uh, later model that'll be coming out as well. So just so stay tuned and you guys will see all the new stuff coming out. Uh, we appreciate your guys' support at the Fishtails Magazine show. Shout out to everybody that we've seen out there, you know what I mean, doing their thing. I know it's hard work and it kind of sucks and it's dragged out, but hey, we were all there representing and shout out to everybody that was doing that, so. All right, so you guys got a glimpse of Mike yesterday, okay? You got him off camera. We heard him yelling at Isaiah because he misunderstood him about painting a fender. Come to find out today, we found out that Mike painted, completely painted another wrong fender, ordered the wrong triple trees. We were just wondering, I'm wondering, do the guys think that he's gonna give Isaiah an apology today. Probably not. Probably not. Let's go ask the rest of them. You guys heard Mike yell at Isaiah yesterday, right? About the fender? Oh, yeah. Yeah, so today we found out that the other fender that you guys painted is also the wrong fender. No. Yep. Yes, oh, it is. No. Okay, it's the wrong fender. Did you already cleared it. <laughs> it's done. It's done, huh? Oh, wow. Yeah, it's done. Um, also, the triple trees are wrong, and they came from Australia. Do you think Mike's going to apologize to Isaiah? Definitely not. Uh, well, who ordered the parts? Let me ask you that. Mike's, Mike chose the parts. Okay. Well, Mike, if you don't apologize to Isaiah, there's going to be problems around here, all right? If Ozzy says there are problems, then there's going to be problems. Uh, I don't want any problems. I like that. I, we don't need problems. But the fender not fitting is a problem. Yeah, I just do what I'm told. Neca, I think Neca placed the order of the part, but he was probably doing what he was told. So you can't make it work? Because you're now with that, good. that fender, the fender, no. The fender, 100% no. Well, we got it up in the shelf if we ever need one. And if we need a black 23-inch breakout fender. It's ready to roll. So ready just roll. give us a call. Let us know. Send it out to you. I don't even know what to say. If there's parts on our desks, we're gonna paint it. Like, no questions asked. Like, you want it black? Cool. I'm not gonna do the mock-ups or anything. That's it. 
23 inch fender ready to sell. Ready black. to sell, go, ready to black, go. on the shelf, and then it never happens, it's ready to go. You don't have to wait, you don't have to go to eBay or Amazon. Nothing like Just that. Just come here and get it. Pick it up. It's ready. Beautiful, fresh paint. Not a, hasn't even seen the air yet. Let's go take a look at it. Let's go take a look. <laughs> For sale. That's just the first coat of clear too because it's still got to get two more coats and then polished and it'll be ready to go. It'll be out there on the market. So if you need it, get at us because when they see this, people are going to snatch it, you know? It's got to go quick. It's a deal. It's a deal. You want a stock black, well it's not stock, but a black polished fender? 50% off. Isaiah's paying the other 50. We don't have snacks. There's zero snacks in the shop. I didn't bring breakfast. So we're gonna go to the store and get some damn snacks, okay? Everybody's hungry because it's another day. Another day means another meal. We need some healthy snacks, not donuts. That was too sugar. So hopefully we get some low sugar snacks with some protein since everybody's working out. Maybe we'll just get some meat and microwave it. We have a grill. We have a grill. That Maybe that'll put uh, Mike in a good mood, in the apology mood, and be like, you know what? I f***ed up. Maybe I shouldn't have yelled. Maybe I shouldn't have yelled. Now it looks bad, you know? Like, oh, it looks really bad. You're like, <laughs> Isaiah wasted an entire day fitting up that tree. And the legs, we'll wait, we'll wait and see. I want to see if he'll, he'll do it out of his, the goodness of his own heart. Bread has protein in it, I think. I know nothing about weightlifting and proper diet for that. Got it, look, if the roofers eat these, have you seen the roofers? They're Mexican and they carry sheets of plywood. So, how could they not? How could this not provide the nutrients that they need to work a, a very long day in the sun and lift big old sheets of plywood? Uh-huh. Okay, so it must be good for them. It must be good for me. Okay, so that's what we're going with. And we got one of each color. That's what you need, a variety of color in your life. This is what happens when I go to the store. We came for snacks and we left for like $80 worth of stuff. If we're gonna get bread, uh, we need to get both kinds. You need bolillo, we needed beans, and we got guacamole because the salsa was just as big, but like, you're not gonna use that much salsa, so you might as well get the guacamole. If you get the guacamole, you might as well get the chips. And then I got a chata to kind of match the, the theme, right? And then so, also we needed cups to share, and then we might as well buy $30 worth of meat. So that means now we gotta grill it. First set apology. Off to save a day, guys. We are picking up a motorcycle, it's a local. They don't do this, but since they're local, I try to look out, drive into the dude's house to get his bike. I don't even know what kind of, I don't even remember, I remember talking to him, but I don't remember what kind of bike or what we're doing, but I just know that we're picking it up for maintenance. He apologized for being mad because he was grouchy when he came in here about the food. He was like, oh, you guys didn't, you guys ate without me. And I was thinking like, you mean like all the food reviews? But I was like, all right, whatever. And he's eating. And so he, he apologized for coming in here hangry. But we're still wondering about the fender. Hey, should, should we just, should we just ask him, right? Mike, Isaiah's wondering something. So we're doing tour in legs. You order the fender? I ordered it, yeah. He was wondering if you're gonna apologize to him for yelling at him. Who? That guy. Why am I gonna apologize to him for? So we should yell at you? Wow, uh, me messing up? It was next to that messed up. Not really. Fender is messed up. But you ordered the wrong fender. I didn't order it, he ordered the wrong fender. You couldn't have ordered a right fender for that bike. Kinda could have. There's no fing 21 inch wide fender for this instead of just ordering a skinny 21 fender. He was mistaken because the thing says five and a half, and I was like, nah, they're probably not talking about the wheel, they're probably talking about the fender width. No, I seen it when you sent me a picture of it. Yes, I too, and I was like, oh, that's <laughs> clear. <laughs> I never seen the fender till I walked in the paint. I was like, guys. It was in the box. I gave it to him in a box, so I didn't, I never seen it. <laughs> yeah, I didn't see it till it was painted. Yeah, we have a 21 inch painted vivid black fender. For a breakout. For a breakout, right now for sale, guys. So I'll hook you up with it. It's a 23? 23 inch fender, I think. At the end of the day, it's still Isaiah's fault for talking. I was yelling at him about painting the 
the other fender. The OEM fender. The OEM fender. You talk like we're in second grade and you say that one. Right. Second you grade said, and you, you said, said that one. <laughs> and then you pointed at the bike. No. For one, the fender that was already on there was in the paint room already. No, it wasn't. Yes, it was. You took it that, and put it in there. I, no, I didn't. I, I never, said the I bike, never seen I said fender. the fender is getting painted or we're going to have it done by the end of the day. Yeah. You said, so, why would so you take, take a, that one off no, I and give it to them. For talking That's to what second you said. grade and you not That's understanding, you it's crazy. You you think that we can just read your mind? He's got, he's got a point. There's, there's a paper that says everything in it. I don't side with Mikey often, but I got to say I side with him on this one. Because if he says, we got to paint that fender, you don't just pick a random fender on the bike. Like All right. times, what's on the paperwork gets changed. So it's not it's not always whatever's on the paperwork. All right, so what we're gonna do right now is we're gonna pull that front end off. We're gonna do a new front fender, paint the front fender. This, That's this why. Is, yeah, it was it was on the paperwork, but he oh. told me, but he told me he said put work on this bike, take that fender, give it to the painters. Take this fender off. We have the fender exactly. getting painted by the end of the day. So exactly. you take it off. You don't go take it to the paint booth. That's Never direction. I said go give this to Ozzy. You'll get painted. Not one time. He said take it to the paint booth. Fenders in paint. Getting oh, painted in the paint booth right now. In the paint booth. That's why we need a camera rolling 24/7, <clears throat> like the reality shows, or else we won't even. We need body no cams. Damn, <laughs> playing around. This shit. We getting evidence now, man. <laughs> <laughs> Ben's battery box came on tight, spike got down. It's gonna go underneath the seat, battery in here. Eddie's gonna wire it, and we're gonna be knocking that out next week. You guys stay tuned. I'll see you guys next week. Appreciate our love and support. Make sure you guys are commenting to participate in this week's giveaway, and make sure you guys are tapping in with us for April 1st, King Tail Giveaway.